In this video tutorial, I will talk how the Camtasia software screen recording and editing is preferred over PowerPoint default recording. To start a PowerPoint presentation, click on the presentation. As the presentation will load, then we can go to the slideshow option and under the slideshow option we will have to click on the record slideshow. The webcam will appear by default which we can switch on off from here. And then by pressing the record button our presentation will start to record in few seconds. And now the recording has started and we will go on with our presentation. The presentation will go very smoothly, but all of a sudden we will hear a disturbing sound. Now again the presentation is continued, as in PowerPoint we don't have the option to remove that one. Now in the annotation options we can highlight with the pencil tool we can annotate somewhere and with the eraser tool we can erase our annotations. Now the thing seems to be smooth that all of a sudden another environmental sound will disturb our presentation. And now this figure inside of my presentation I would like to zoom in but I am not able to. And this is one of the drawback in PowerPoint. Our presentation is going on and for those living on the campus, this sound cannot be stopped. So, we will have to carefully edit our presentation before publishing it. So, let's start with the Camtasia, which can record our screen as well as we can edit our file. The Camtasia will take some time in loading, so wait for it. And once it is loaded, there are two options, new project and new recording. We will have to click the new recording and the new recording menu will appear. Here, some screen options are there. The full screen option, which I prefer to use, and then some customized sizes. So we will have to give the dimensions. I will go on with the full screen option and here we can switch on the camera is like PowerPoint and it will be shown in a corner. We can change its position here in Camtasia while the editing and the mic it is preferred to be switched on even if we will be recording our presentation with an external audio recording but to synchronize our video this thing is important to be recorded as well. Later on we can remove the audio. So we will click on the recording and in few seconds our recording will start and a blue lines will appear at the corners of this and we see that the recording is going on. We can now start with our presentation and our presentation is here. So we will start recording our presentation just like we do in a slideshow mode in a PowerPoint presentation. So this thing will go on until we complete our presentation. So the presentation will go on. I will just move quickly through the presentation and once the recording is finished then I will go to the editing of this then how we can now edit our presentation and here our presentation ends up and it was just like a three minute presentation and we will stop the recording and now when the recording will stop, Camtasia will automatically load the recorded file and here it is. This is called track 1 and this is the cursor on which the slider we can see the location of our file wherever we want to 
do editing and all file so this is under track one we can add as many tracks as we want while the recorded file is stored there in the default directory we can first save this one at our desired location let's see i'm saving it on the desktop and now we will have to find the position from where we would like to start our video so at this point we will have to split so for splitting first select this one it can be selected by clicking or by uh, control a and now this is the split option and at this point i want to split so i can do with by clicking that splitting button Now the cursor effect I can apply and for the cursor effect I will have to drag this to the track and it is now here as it is shown here. Now if I look at it, it is very opaque 75% so I will have to make it 50% so that the text behind it is visible. And now I can see that the text behind it is clearly visible. The next thing that I want to do is to add some audio effects and the very first thing I will have to remove the noise from it. So I will click on this one and will drag it onto the track and the background noise will be removed. Now there are very important settings here for the removal of the background noise. Normally the sensitivity we keep uh, from 10 to 15 and the amount from 20 to 30 and our file is having no background noise then then i can move to the library and from here i can just add up some lower thirds which will slide over the lecture and they will have the title of it and some more information different lower thirds are available under the library option which is the default library and we can have those options here these are the options that i have set and now if i go to the camtasia library then they are over there and i will click on the lower thirds and under the lower thirds different options are there i can double click on them in order to preview them then how they will look the one that i like is this lower third the sliding lower third and it is like this so we can edit this option according to our choice that what should appear here and i will have to click and drag it to the track and it has been added and now the menu has appeared here that the things we would like to change we can change over there so just slide your slide bar there in order to show the details and here we can change the details for example for the text width I want to write like Camtasia tutorial or any other text we can add here. It will automatically update and we can now see how it will look like 
so on the top i am having the web address then the title of the lecture and then at the end i have the university of Bishar. I can adjust its location and now I will come to this figure and I would like to zoom this figure so in order to zoom this figure first I will have to select from where I will have to start the zooming and I will have to move the slide bar in order to select the location and after selecting the location I will select Control A and then S it will split it and I will see the ending point that up to how long this will remain zoomed so I will split this portion and now when this portion is split it then I will have to go to the options so I can see that here it is now only the figure that I would like so I will go to the animations and inside the animation this zoom pen will appear and i will have to increase the size of it let's say 400 and then 400 is this portion so i will slide it towards that point and i will capture the whole figure i will have to adjust so that the zooming don't go out of the video portion The adjustment may take a little bit time because I will have to adjust it very carefully. And now it seems fine. So I can play it big in order to see that how it will zoom in and it will be discussed. So I can adjust the slider. So this way the Camtasia is very user friendly that we can do the things again and again and when we are satisfied with our zooming then we can leave it at that point. And hence the zooming is done and now if I see there is a spike in the audio and I would like to remove that spike. So I select it and then I go to the separate audio and video because at this point I would like the video should go on while the audio is to be removed from that point. So I will select the audio, this red and green buttons and then I can just silent that portion. This is one way to do the thing that that portion has been made silent while the video is over there it has not been cropped if the audio will remain inside this one then it will crop the video as well there are some audio effects available as well like the compression and some others like fading it down and fading it up so i will select that spike let's say it is an unwanted sound like cuffing or so and i will drag this fading out here and it will fade out so i can adjust then then how this fading out should be there and now i can recheck it that it is fine so once i am satisfied with this i can go on with my tutorial I only discussed very few options here, they, those were the very basics and that normally I do while editing and for the one who want to be an expert in editing which is very much required for recording quality videos we can go on to the YouTube and inside the YouTube if I give Camtasia video editing tutorial then there are so many available 
but I will prefer the one which is done by the expert of TechSmith, the Camtasia software itself. And inside this video tutorial, there are 25 videos and they are very short videos. We can see here that they, they are around three minutes each. So 25, so one and a half hour this tutorial is very beneficial for recording, editing and sharing a class videos. Thank you for watching.